I'm taking the Mia Secret Nail Dehydrator and applying it on just where the nail bed would be. And then I'm taking the Beauty Secrets Acid Free Primer. You could get that at Sally's and applying it next. And then I'm taking the Mia Secret Cover Blush Nude. And I believe that's not polish in my feelings. And then in that clear container, the third powder, I have my Crystal Clear from Nail Supply Glamour. Um, it's in the Mia Secret one because I don't have nowhere else to put it and I got a big jar so I just refill that one. And then for Monomer, I'm taking my Nail Supply Glamour Monomer and mixing it with acetone, so like a 50-50 ratio. And then I'm just gonna use that for my Monomer. So first I put down a thin layer of acrylic and you know put that down and lay it down make it all smooth and then um i'm gonna go in with the hot pink and apply that at the tip almost going like 75 percent of the way up for the ombre and then after that i'm gonna dip into the mia secret nude and blend it down so it has a nice little ombre I keep cleaning the sides so I don't lose the shape. Also, that helps save time with filing when you're done applying the acrylic. So, prior to doing, uh, like applying the nail dehydrator, I did file and have everything prepped, but I did keep that off camera because I just wanted this to be about my first attempt at acrylic mar uh, acrylic ombre. Um, I think this is my first attempt or second. I'm not sure. I might have done my first attempt off camera, but either way, this is my first attempt on camera so I've only done it one other time I think if I'm not mistaken so yeah um it is a little easy depending on the products that you work with I found that using this acrylic with this not polish um using the monomer with the pink acrylic was a little bit hard because I don't know why it dries so fast I'm assuming it's because I put acetone mixed in with the monomer but that's because it's slow setting, so maybe I should try using it on its own. I'm not sure, but after I mix the nude, I cap it with clear acrylic. And then I did the filing and buffing off camera, so that is what it looks like when it's done. And now you just see me top coating it with the D D and D or DC uh, gel top coat. It's one of my favorites, and I'm gonna use these crystals here. They are just some cheap ones that came with some nails that I ordered from Amazon, and I'm just gonna create a little S design with the crystals. So yeah, and the wax pencil I also got from eBay for like a 99 cents, I think. So I normally use my Zoulay's Bling Adhesive, but for the sake of just practicing, I used my gel top coat to hold the stones just so you guys aren't thrown off. 
and then this is the final result i think it looks pretty cute i mean i do need to practice more again this is my only first this is only my first or second time attempting acrylic ombre so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed drop a thumbs up comment down below what you thought and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go and i'll see you in the next video bye